Houston as we are learning more about Robert Bates' time with the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office today. We're also learning about the judge selected to hear his criminal case. Two News reporter Joe Hinkey live outside the Tulsa County Courthouse with what he found. Joe? Well, Russ, the next time we see Robert Bates could be here at the Tulsa County Courthouse for his preliminary hearing in July. But tonight we still have many unanswered questions about Bates's time with the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office. Now, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office tonight confirmed it carried out an internal investigation in 2009 into Bates, but we still don't know what that investigation found. Today we reached out to the undersheriff at the time, Brian Edwards. He declined to comment due to the ongoing litigation. A spokesman with the Sheriff's Office also declined an interview with Two News, but added no action was taken as a result of the investigation. One of Bates's attorneys talked with our radio partner, though, 1170 KFAQ today. I think that when the facts come out in the criminal case, we're going to find that not a single officer who was involved uh, in this uh, operation was uncomfortable with Bob being there or had any concerns about his lack of training or lack of qualification. Now the county court uh, in, randomly in assigned Bates that. preliminary hearing to District Judge James Caputo. Yesterday, Judge Caputo filed a list of disclosures with the court clerk. It shows Caputo worked as a Tulsa County deputy in the 90s. He has known Sheriff Stanley Glantz for more than 23 years, and his daughter even works in the sheriff's office right now. Now, today we left several messages with Caputo uh, to try to get his comments on this and to see if he will hear this case in his courtroom after he disclosed his uh, relationship with the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office. Those calls have yet to be returned. Reporting live outside the Tulsa County Courthouse tonight, Joe Hankey, 2 News works for you. All right, Joe, thanks. And we also reached out to the Harris family attorney today for comment. We have not heard back.